All right, so today we're in Poblacion and we're gonna be shooting some vocalicious night portraits. So I'm gonna be using the Lawa 105mm f2 lens to get the really nice and creamy bokeh in the background. And today we have my friend Sabi here, who's gonna be our model. So let's get to it. Alright, so the things you need for this is a camera and you're gonna need a fast long lens meaning you can open the aperture really wide so this one the Lawa 105 f2 it can open up to f2 so that's what we're gonna be using today thirdly you're gonna need a friend to model and lastly some things you can shoot through like an umbrella and a prism all right for the settings I've already mentioned it in the how to shoot neon portraits video but it's gonna be generally the same thing so your shutter speed at 1 1 25th second or whatever you can handhold and then your aperture at your widest so right now we have our widest at f2 and your ISO at the lowest you can expose properly for alright so second you're gonna have to look for a nice location so we're here right now in Pueblo Shun, and there's lots of nice ambient lights from the science so you're gonna be able to use that and what's important is you're able to balance different colors because the colors of the lamppost can be a little too warm sometimes so you have to have colors that will balance the warmth so when you're looking for a location you gotta find nice big soft lights so you can shoot right in front of a sign or right in front of a shop window and you can get really nice soft light. Thanks Casey Nice that. And so thirdly, we start shooting. Let's go. Bokeh portraits, distance from your model is very important. The closer you are, the more bokeh you're gonna get. Along with other factors such as your aperture and your focal length. So another thing that you can try when shooting bokeh portraits is to get your model to interact with the bokeh. So because you're shooting at a really narrow focal length, the bokeh becomes really, really big and it's almost as if they can interact. So you can have that dynamic feel between the background and your subject. shooting you should try different angles so you can try from low from medium and from above so that's what we're gonna do so when you're shooting with a really shallow depth of field so something like f2 f1.8 f1.4 once you've nailed focus you want to try to keep as still as possible because any shift backwards or forwards could put you out of focus so the same goes for your model, so be sure that they know that. So shooting through prisms allows you to bend the light. So even if your frame is dark, you can reflect some light into it and still get some exposure and some other cool artifacts in your photo. shoot vocalicious night portraits if you enjoyed this like comment and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you next time <laughs>
super duper flat and try it out. Let's go.